Hi, as most of you know, I'm Spanish. I live in Spain. I love it here. This is a great place. And I live here by choice. When I was a kid, well, I was 19, 20 years old, I moved, I went to live in London, Paris, and then I traveled around the world for many, many years. It wasn't until 12 years ago that I decided to come back to Spain and live here. I love it here. It's a great place. We have great quality of life. We have great weather, although it's getting hotter every year. Uh, but well, there you go. We have wonderful food. We have some of the best people ever. This country is full of amazing people, super creative, kind, loving, a lot of fun. But at the same time, I hate this country. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because we have a dark side. Because on the surface, you might look around and say, wow, what a great place. This is just so cool. But then when you look around, there's always somewhere an animal suffering. And that's everywhere, really. It just shows in our traditions, in our celebrations, in the village party, we have the bullfighting, we have all these crazy holidays where animal torture, still the center of it, is just heartbreaking. But there is something else. And this happens nowhere in a clearer way than in the south, in Andalusia, in Seville. Let's zoom in, okay? Happens everywhere, but let's talk about Seville. Seville is a beautiful city. It's an open air museum. It's one of the most monumental cities in the whole of Europe, and that's to say a lot. It has some of the kindest, funniest, most creative, joie de vivre, it's a French word, but there you go, Spanish as well. It's great. The city is outstanding. But there is so much animal abuse over there. It's unbelievable, really. Have you noticed that many of the dogs and cats we rescue, they come from Seville? This, this is no, it's no by chance, you know, they are everywhere. You cannot drive around the streets and the roads of Andalusia without seeing dead animals everywhere. This actually reminds me of Turkey sometimes. In the villages, it's much worse. The cases of animal abuse there are horrifying. People are neglectful. They just put a blind eye to it. They don't care. It's like it's assumed that this dog is suffering on the streets and ah, nobody's going to do anything as long as people just, you know, go home and this is, they ignore the whole problem. And I tell you, as I say, the roads and the cats, my God, there are dead cats everywhere. In every village there is today, there is a war between cat people and people that are against, that are against cats. You see, a few months ago, nearly a year, we had a new animal, animal protection law. And one of the things it said is that the municipalities will now be in charge of neuter and release, sterilizing the cats, leaving them in their place so that cat colonies will be managed by local people, by caretakers. They will have a, a you know, identification number and all of that. Well, these people are struggling so much, you just wouldn't believe it. They have to face the protest, the wrath, the aggression of people that hate animals. And we just see it all the time. And in the end, the ones that pay are the animals. I have never seen cats more scrawny, more abused than I've seen in Seville. Ah, I mean, what can I say? Cats are regularly thrown into garbage cans. You go to any garbage collection point, and there's always cats there, dead cats everywhere. Cats get run over by cars and they don't clean up. It's just awful. It really is. My WhatsApp message is, is swamped by dead cats from the South. It's really horrible. We do our best. We run a couple of uh, neutron, neutron release programs in the South. Linda personally is managing or overseeing one of them in her village, Maire Nadalacor, which is a village about 15 minute drive from Seville. Now, in that village, they're making a big effort and it's, it's, it's working because Linda, our Linda, is managing the whole thing. Well, not managing, but is putting pressure so that 
the program is managed properly. And I tell you, she's struggling. She is struggling. The things she's seeing is just simply awful. This weekend, I was in Seville. I went to see her, I went to sign some documents, and I went to spend some time with her. And then she said, look, can you please come to my house? Please give me a hand. I just rescued these two kitties that were in the garbage truck. They were about to be thrown inside the garbage truck. They were in a garbage container. My God, I just couldn't believe it. How, how is that possible? You didn't tell me. And she said, well, if I tell you all the cats that come through my house and all the cats that we rescue here, I mean, your head will explode. So I sat with her at her place and this is what happens. Meet Estrella, Star and Luna, Moon. Hi guys, I'm in Seville for a couple of days dealing with some paperwork and I wanna show you something really, really cute. Just come with me, come with me. Let's go, vamos. Show me, Linda, show me, enséñame. Uy. A ver, que no entren los perrillos. Muy bien, vamos a ver qué tienes para mí. Let's see what do you have for me here today. Uh, two babies who were literally thrown away. ¿Qué dices? Oh my God. Mm. Oh, look at this. Mm. Who are these two guys? ¿Y esto quién es quién son? Anda. Where did you find these kittens? In the rubbish. De la basura. They were in the garbage. In estos pueblos, nobody sterilizes their cats. So when they have kittens, they just throw them away. So these two cuties have been thrown away to the garbage. My God. <laughs> Obviously, we need to find a home for these two. Right? I've assumed they're sisters because they were together in the same bin. What beauties. Oh my goodness. They are just adorable. Okay, so this one is oh. Moon. Moon. Luna, no? This one is Luna, is and the other kitten is Estrella. Estrella, star. Here they are. Sanas, Luna, and Estrella. The two galactic babies. They've both been tested and are healthy. They truly are the picture of joy and health. De la alegría y de la salud. So we need to find them a home, no? Why? Yes, please. T together. Together. Is it true or not? The two cats? Two cats are much better. One. Yeah, much better. They know each other, they're friends, they interact with each other. How many dogs do you have right now? Three. Three. And they don't Jenny like comes for two, so I have four. Yes. And these two kitties, who can't leave the room because one of my dogs is a hunter. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs>
Rosa. Uy, ¿tú qué vienes? Hola, tía. Why don't they have a conditioner? Air conditioner. Yeah, you should give them a conditioner. In this bedroom? Yeah. They don't live here. For, for now, they're guests. They have air conditioner in, the, have a, in the room they live in. in, in okay. In okay. the other room. Okay. Yeah. No one is using this room at the moment. Okay. Precisely because it has no air conditioner. Okay. <laughs> Star and Moon are looking for a home. We want to find a home for both of them together. It's much easier, much more practical. They will be together, they will be having fun. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen how two cats interact when they are together? It's just wonderful. People have the idea that cats are selfish, individualistic, they are territorial, and they are. But they're also willing to share their territory. And they, are, they have friends, they have brothers and sisters, I mean, they, they are communities. It would be amazing if one of you adopted these two babies. Write to me. My email address is here below. Tell me everything about you, your animals. Include pictures. Send me pictures. I need to see how these two will live with you. If you cannot adopt them, will you please at least share this video? I'm very important. Please, if you love what, you, what we do, if you watch our videos every day, please consider joining us on Patreon. For a very small contribution, you will really be making a difference. Without our Patreon support group, we just wouldn't be here. We need you to keep all of this running. Please, if you can, join us on Patreon. We need you.